Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you. Gonna do an opening. Got a uh, Bad Batch Imperial Crosshair. Um, yeah, I had to think about that for a second. Looking on the back, that's what it says. Imperial Crosshair. He is number nine. Um, just got these from Walmart, as you can see. Here's my opener. There's a tear. It's box is kind of mangled up a little bit. They have not been shipping well. I'm sure they're getting a lot of complaints. Um, I got one that was okay. Um, I guess I would call it decent enough to put in my, as my regular lineup. Um, didn't get her ex. Said it last video. I'll say it again. Didn't know. Couldn't get her ex. I missed him somehow. Not overly big deal. I just need one, uh, one brand new in a box in good shape. Uh, I'll have to find one somehow. Um, I'm not going to overpay right now. I'll wait and see if the in-store happens to get them. If I get them in-store, I'll be okay. I don't need to open. i got two or three open Rexes already. If it's a matter of a cloak, there's lots of places that sell those cloaks um, on the internet. So, All right, so here we have it. Let's see. Let's see how much different he is. I'll, without doing a comparison, I don't know. I have a happy man box put up over here, but... Uh, I do like the black, very, very cool. Um, I do like the trooper. I do, I did like, I do enjoy and like the uh, Bad Batch troopers that they have. See, he's got what looks like, I don't know what it is. It's just in his holster. It's like he's got what looks like a pistol, and, uh, but it is. It's actually in there already. Usually those don't come out. Those usually don't get those in. So, um, up here, his. Shoulder guards are very flexible. I guess when you're a sniper, you kind of got to have a little flexibility. Um, very cool there. Removable helmet. Let's see what he looks like under his helmet. And if you ask me, he's pretty much the same. I thought they should have. They should have gave me more of a buzz cut look because I thought after he was with the Empire, his hair was, was even trimmed shorter. But hey, we just three him on. Um, I don't recognize the body per se, so I think this is a definite different uh, mold, somewhat anyway. Um, yeah, even looking down at the boots, they look worn. Um, they got scratches and stings on them, so I guess he's supposed to look a little battle worn. Um, I don't. Yeah, I see it. I don't think you could see it. You might be able to zoom in maybe, I don't know. On his shoulder there's a little bit and on his boots and his legs. So, um, check his leg, check his appendages and see how everything bends and if it works okay. I should break one of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I break one of these. Um, so, there you go. Helmet, face, with that side piece there. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like this figure. I've been kind of looking forward to it, anticipating it a little bit um, of coming. Then of course, the rest of it's pretty much similar to his other one. Um, we got the snipe, big, big sniper rifle backpack. To me, looks the same. You can, I'm gonna put that on, and you're gonna, you can put that. Uh, I believe you can put that sniper rifle in there somehow yeah about like that why this is about the best way to put it so it's gonna stick out it's gonna stick up a little bit but uh i think that's the best way to put it there's a little hole on the side of this one like a little peg hole on the side not sure what that's supposed to be for um, no no never noticed that on the other one Unless there's something else he had on the other one, I don't recall. But uh, so there's my Imperial Crosshair, very neat figure. Yeah, I, I like these Black Series figures. I mean, I'm glad I'm an adult being able to get these because as a kid I would have never gotten many of these. So, um, of course, you look back and you think about it. If I in the in the early '80s when I first was getting toys. Um, you know, I was born in the late 70s, started playing toys in the early, you know, figures in the early 80s, you know, He-Man, Transformer, G.I. Joe, Star Wars. Um, so I probably would have never, but 
got as many of these as the price point. I mean, I would imagine just just off the top of my head and thinking about it. I think his knee pads are a little crooked too, or his knee piece is a little crooked. Uh, you can't really spin those. I'm just checking him out as I'm telling my story. So um, I think the price point on these would have been between seven and ten dollars. Um, if you think about He-Man figures now, He-Man figures when I was a kid were about five bucks, at least four to three to five bucks because I had a Western auto store and I'm sure look it up if you watch this video and you hear that look it up uh, there are not many around if any hardly any left in the um, they're probably tucked in small towns like mine where I where I grew up um, my town was very small 500 people um, the Western auto was a place that people used it was kind of a hardware store um, but they did sell toys they had a whole upstairs of toys actually it was a two two-story deal one side was mostly toys they did have some furniture and other stuff but bigger stuff up there because they did sell furniture and stuff in the day too uh, sold mowers all that and the guy that ran it was the mayor for years and years um funny because here we are halloween's today oh yeah today's halloween and i'm telling my story um he used to have a giant bell in his yard and that was the thing people would go ring the mayor's bell you know uh during halloween time when people tp and so so which is to me not many people do but obviously someone does so uh Friend, uh, somewhat friend on Facebook uh, got soaked last night. So, uh, I didn't know the kids were really doing that anymore. But uh, I know they TP. Anyway, so, you know, they would have had these figures and they were a little higher price. You know, like I said, I go buy He Man up there for five bucks. I told the story on one of my videos about getting almost getting frostbit feet and uh, getting in trouble because I walked eight blocks uptown to buy a figure when it was like 10 degrees out and the snow was, it was a couple feet of snow, um, you know, or well. I say that, but uh, anyway, so, um, but I guess I'm being paged, so I'm going to have to go see what's going on. That's all right. I'm almost done. But uh, at any rate, um, price point would have been different, so um, we'll see, but uh, I, we'll never know. But I'm glad as an adult collector, I can get these and have lots of them, as you can tell. Anyway, so looks like I'm needed, so um, hey. Here you go, Imperial Crosshair number nine. Oh, forgot to read his bio. I guess I'll do that real quick. Formerly a member of the Bad Batch, Crosshair's loyalties shift after his team defects from Imperial service. Committed to the Empire, Crosshair leads a new squad of enlisted recruits, which I have several of those. All right, so hey guys, hit that like and subscribe button. Hope you got one of these. These are kind of cool, like I said, I like them. Um, hope you got a Rex if you want a Rex. Like I said, I did not, but I'll, I will get one one day. And uh, anyway, like and subscribe button if you want to watch more of my videos, get notifications, and as always, I'm Beast from Beast Toys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.